Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl episode Menagerie. Look at all my notes for this. It's crazy. Um, so we start off with some jewel thieves, almost got hit by a meteor, and a snake thing attacked her. <laughs> And then we have Valentine's at John's where Alex and Car visit and found out that John is doing really, really well at his job. And Alex feels kind of down about her personal life and feels like she's doing, well, she's not really good, doing good in her work life because of that Haley lady. But anyway, she feels really, really down about her personal life and wants that to improve and do like an adoption profile and because she really wants kids and just other aspects of her personal life that she just hasn't been able to do. Then we cut to where a lady comes in to see John and that's when they leave and says that her husband she thinks has been kidnapped. Then we cut to where Brainy visits Nia and she's still grieving but he kind of wants her to train and I want to see it so long so I bet he's about to die. But um she like she's not ready to do that because she's still grieving and she invites him to the party and says it's a date and uh, then we cut to where Lockwood is um, talking to his family at prison and tells the kid to act like his granddad then as it's at the asteroid site where Haley shows up and then we have the snake thing ate the guy's heart so they go to, to run some tests and Brainy hates snakes <laughs> And then they found two more victims along with uh, no jewelry either. Then John talks to Kara and then Lena is feeling down but she, then she gets a visit from James and it's a present and she um, wants him to go to Paris with her so he says okay. Um, after perso some persuading then Kara is doing some research and we find out that Fred Roberts might have kidnapped Stuart but he was already back in prison so that's a no-go. Then Alex tells Brainy about Valentine's. Uh, and then Jewelry, then the alien. Then a call from John. A roadblock because she's really busy with the other stuff. So uh, then we catch Relina gets visits from Haley and wants a super army. And saw the news broke about the people. Then the kid acts as Iron Patriot and gets people to move out. And the president isn't happy about it and wants options. Then they have uh, everyone that's at the Valentine's Day party of, at Nia's. Then we have to Rockwood, talks to his kid, and tells him to wait for opportunity, then take it. Then John finds Brainy. And then Kara talks to Nia and tells, tells her just take your time, no rush whatsoever. And then we found uh, human DNA in that DNA is Pamela's. And basically, um, we cut to where she answers, you know, answers them at her place. But Brainy KOs her for a little bit, then she gets back up and fights them, then escapes. So when Alice is looking and finds the jewels and everything, and then we cut to where Lena tells James about the government. He doesn't agree. Then Lena gets mad at him, and they drop them off at the corner, <laughs> and they're done. Then Nia had a vision, then Kara thinks Alex put her life on hold because of her, so she's playing the blame game. Then the children of Liberty are at the place, and then Pamela shows back up, and also one of them, but they managed to record her saying that she's going to the ball, so that gets put online, so the children of Liberty are going to the ball, but Alex and them are also going to the, you know what. So the kid is going to the place with the children of Liberty. Like I said, and then Pamela is having a field day at the ball. She's having so much fun offing people and selling all the jewelry. And then we have Supergirl versus Menagerie. Then Nia helps. Then the ch uh, Children of Liberty kid off the alien. Then Kid made a speech. And Haley refuses to give Supergirl credit, so she lets uh, the Children of Liberty have this. The Supergirl is happy about Nia. Then Brainy meets Nia to train. Then Alex visits Kara and they have like their moment how she's going to step up and do more things in her personal life. Then Lena is in with the government, supposedly. I have other ideas about that. 
And then Ben is being let go because the president says that it's only against alien crime. It's only against human crimes and not aliens. So he, they have to let him go. And then Manchester Black contacts Tamil who has a bit of alien still in her. And that's in the episode. I give it an A-. minus. <laughs> I can't believe how to talk so fast for this. And also, um, I feel like Lena kind of knows about Lex. Because I feel like they're, that's supposed to be brought in in a little bit and everything. So, I think that's why she was feeling down originally. Because all this stuff beforehand, she wasn't this about Haley yet. And all this other stuff. So, I feel like that's really why she was really down. But let me know in the comments section down below what you think. And that's going to do for this video because I'm pretty sure my battery's about to die. So, because the red light's blinking. So, um... Like, comment, and subscribe. Have any suggestions? Leave it down below. And have a super awesome day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.